Hello, Archibald Chesterfield the third here. How are you fuckers to How are you nasty fuckers today? And I'd just like to ask the question. 20 years a watch collector. What have you learnt, Archie? 20 years of watch collecting. What have I learnt? What have I learnt? Well, I've learnt a few things. The first thing is, stay away from dog shit brands. That's filler. You know, these pretend bullshit brands that pop up like mushrooms after a, uh, a summer storm. Stay away from bullshit. The next thing is low end to mid tier. You get what you pay for, fuckers. That doesn't mean everything expensive is good, but generally speaking, fuckers, expensive shit is really good quality. The other thing is, fuckers, is that I've, I've become a Rolex fanboy again. And uh, there's just something about waterproofness, ruggedness, reliability, that keeps bringing the punters back to Rolex time and time again. Yes, they're poor valued compared to Horterology with the polished bridges and finished movements, but fuckers, for everyday peace of mind, usability, Rolex, 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 it's just so good. And I've come back to Rolex time and time again because it is a great, great brand, great, it's got many characteristics which I quite like. That's right, fuckers. Rolex has many great characteristics that no other brand has. 20 years as a collector. What else have I learnt? What have I learnt? I've had many ups and downs, many financial problems, comes and goes, and I, I think the, uh, the, the new age now is compact quality collection. So don't, don't, um, you know, don't just get filler just add good pieces you love you don't need to show off you don't need to prove nothing to fucking nobody you don't need to prove nothing to no fucker out there you just need to prove shit to yourself and um that's the big thing there sizes the just reading in the um the press the watch press horological press i think sizes are coming back down again so I, I, I think uh, chunkiness is sort of out. You, you, you won't see 33 mil dress watches come back, but you'll start to see, you know, 40 mil become a good size, high 30s, 38, 39 mil sort of pieces. And uh, I think that's the thing. 20 years as a watch collector. What other titbits have you got for us, Archie? What other titbits? And uh, something that's really stayed current is stay with the icons. Stay with the icons. You know, there's fashion brands like Cartier and uh, so many, you know, Panerai. Yeah, they come and go. But something like a Rolex Explorer 2, it was cool in the 80s, cool in the 90s, the noughties, and cool in 2015. Classic doesn't date classic style and uh this is the whole thing classic doesn't date and uh you know i i quartz was a big thing quartz was acceptable quartz was acceptable and it's 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 thankfully dying a painful death thankfully as those uh batteries corrode and the movements fuck up that's causing a lot of trouble there so get out of that quartz shit as they're aging I'm Archie Luxury, reflecting on 20 years as a collector. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul-mouthed fuckers think of that.